Let's see. Boom. I have no idea where she went. I think she's. I think she went to that hallway over there. There's one Easter egg you might or might not find. Is it in here? Is it in this uh, this lair down here? Oh, so so real quickly when I uh, when I had went back and I had looked at uh, some of the the videos from Fallout Three regarding the mechanist or whatever, um, and one of the end. Like, I guess to complete the whole arc of that, um, our character finds the mechanist and the person that gets unmasked is a guy, and then he gives us the suit. So, I guess, well, she said she made that suit. Um, but, uh, yeah, apparently at the, at the end, or at least in my, uh, playthrough, um, we got the, the person to unmask themselves, and then uh, we got to keep the suit just like we're doing right now. Um, but I guess that's not the authentic suit from Fallout 3, because uh, she said she made it or whatever. It is in this building? Okay. Have I have I passed the room in it already? Or is it uh, maybe over in there? I haven't passed it yet? Okay. All right. Well, that's the next goal then. I wanna, I wanna see if I can find it. Um, I am gonna go back to the to Isabel and uh, try one of those radiant quests just to see what it looks like. I don't, I don't understand why they thought putting a bunch of radiant quests in this game was gonna be fun for people. I don't know. I guess like Skyrim did did that stuff too, kind of. But I don't really get it. I mean, it's just like never ending. So why would you do it unless you just want some XP? But you know, I don't know. All right, I leveled up. Could put this in Intel. Okay, so this is this is elevator takes us somewhere. I don't know where this takes us, but. Uh, we don't have that. How much weight do I have right now? Okay, so I better stop uh, picking up stuff. I mean, this is our place now. I mean, we don't need to loot everything and leave because we can always come back. Um, but I guess the best thing to do right now is probably just loot all the robots, to be honest. I could, store I could actually store junk here, too. Like, in the thing, the workbench there. To keep people busy with that unlimited level, Resident Sleeper. Some people got legit like 500 hours in a single character, uh, if Reddit is to be believed. I mean, I could see someone just dedicating just to playing this game all the time. I could see it. Alright, we're gonna take all this junk. Um, and then we're gonna store it in this workbench here, because... I've got so much junk of it, and then we can come back uh, and get it all and then put it where we want it. I just want to loot all the junk right now if I can. Um, go ahead and drink some beer so I can jump down and store it. So apparently I can build stuff down in here. I don't think this would make a good base, though. Oh, wow, this workshop already has stuff. Cool, all right. Well, I'm gonna store all this junk in here. Um, and then I'll come back for it uh, eventually. But, uh, let's get let's get the rest of these, uh, the loot off all the enemies that we killed. Assuming I can find them all. Could he even fast travel here? Uh, good question. Mechanist Lair cleared. Robco sales and service. So it still says we're here, although the Mechanist Lair is over there. <sighs> uh, it looks like it's a fast travel location, yeah. 
But we can always uh, come back here and grab the junk and stuff that we're storing. But I'm definitely gonna do that. Did I walk in here? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I believe we were walked in here. What's up here? Yeah, um... Yeah, I think we had to go around. These doors are just now open now that they weren't before. Alright, uh, let me come up here and grab the junk off this stuff. I don't know where this iBot's body is, but... Cool, man. Did I walk over here? Go down there. I don't think there's anything up here. Uh, yeah, we, we walked past all of that stuff on the way over. I really hate this light. I, the first thing I'm going to do when I get back to Sanctuary Hills is freaking change this light. Because it's just like a spotlight. Um, and there was, there was a couple of uh, hollow tapes that I had missed. If we keep standing um, on this radiation, you're going to get sick. A couple of hollow tapes that I missed in some of the rooms that we that we passed on the way here because of this light being just kind of like it's kind of like tunnel vision I'm only looking in the middle of the screen whereas the the previous light kind of lit up uh, I think more than this to be honest everybody says didn't put past Bethesda creating a settlement this deep a dungeon and leaving no way to reach it quick okay so we've already looked at everything in here Let's go over this way. What does this say? Control center, facility chamber? Okay. Where did she go? Overdue book. Still haven't found who's supposed to turn that into. Mechanist, honey? Where you at, girl? <laughs> oh, come on. I want to be able to look at that without the shine. The Unstoppables, outclassed by the Mechanist. That's a cool looking uh, artwork there. I hope there's a magazine in here. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Ooh. I don't know if I have that. We're going to take it. For one of our female companions. All right, yeah, no, I want to loot all this stuff, but I don't, I don't want to. Thumb drops, it's to mash. Oh, there you are. You're sleeping. What are you just watch her? Robot there. The mechanist has the silver shroud. <laughs> the mechanist. That's funny. That's cool. Why does it say DP on there? Does that stand for Deadpool? Or DD? I don't I don't know. What is that? I don't want that. Alright, I want to talk to you about the drawing of the mechanist. DP. That's probably that, that's actually probably the artist that probably came up with this. Uh, pretty cool. Bobby pin box, sentry box. Let's take that. There's a hollow tape there. The mechanist law. Let's listen to this. Well, I guess we're watching it, or we're reading it. Isabel's cruise log testing. Let's hope this sentry sticks. I finally got one of the terminals up and running. Now to hope I have the same luck with the rest of, the, of this facility. Man, I thought we were going to listen to stuff, not read. This place is incredible. An entire wing devoted to RoboBrain research and development. I've never seen any robots quite like these, except in a few of the comics I've read. And the brains. They're still preserved after all this time. I can't wait to start delving into the schematics to assemble one myself. DP is the Easter egg.
DP. What would the DP stand for? What does that mean? It's going to be a fallout term, right? And it, it has to be an Easter egg of Fallout 3, I would think. I don't know. DP. Oh, let me think on that. Let's uh, let's go finish these logs first. Um, unless the unless one of these logs spoiled it, I hope it doesn't. But the potential for the Robo Brain seemed limitless. I've managed to update a few of them to handle some of the many old tasks around here. I may have this facility fully functional for my own purposes faster than I thought. Or let me know when you want me to tell you. Lol. Okay. Uh, I have a new mission, the safety of the Commonwealth. I think I can program the robots here to, to safely police the surrounding area, possibly up to a 15 mile radius. Uh, I was laying in bed, staring at the, at the posters I found, and it occurred to me, I could really make a difference here. I'm going to start constructing the mechanist suit in the drawing I found. Okay, so she was somebody that just stumbled upon this place uh, and apparently the, the mechanist drawing and poster and all that stuff was already here. Um, and so that's why she made the suit. The mechanist suit turned out even better than, I, than I'd than i hope. Sparks gave me an approving beep. I even added a voice augmentation to it. It's strange how it makes me feel so confident when I put it on. It's like being a different person. Okay. Flannel shirt and jeans. DP. I don't, I honestly don't know what that would refer to. Like, even if it is from Fallout 3 or like pretty much any Fallout, it's been so long since I played them. That I probably wouldn't get it, but I don't know if that refers to like a character in the game or uh, maybe a location or something. I don't know. Cause like I said, the first thing that popped up into my head was Deadpool, but it's not gonna be Deadpool because it's just it's, it's this isn't Marvel, dude. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably been too long. Well. If, if this was a question for a million dollars, I'd fail. This was a question for for a uh, hundred thousand dollars, I'd fail. I don't know. I, I need you to tell me, Remingtons. I need to know. I might be like, oh, once you tell me, but as of right now, I legitimately have no idea what DP stands for. I mean, I'll, I'll probably see it on the wiki, but... Yeah. Uh, when this DLC was announced and trailer dropped, people naturally went back to Fallout 3 and caught on to this. Okay. I, I wonder, I guess the trailer showed the mechanist, I guess, or the name was dropped. Um, and that was probably more than enough reason for people to go back, I guess. DP is Derek P. Whatever the child from Canterbury Commons that was obsessed with superheroes. That I did not see. Well, I did see the the initial uh, when I walked into uh, that that place, Canterbury Commons, Ranberry. Uh, how do you spell it again? Canter. Canterbury Commons. So this was a location in Fallout 3 that you first encountered the Mechanist. Um, there was like a whole little arc to it and it was pretty fun. You're saying, uh, tell me the people. Whoa, this dragon thing. Monster Hunter checkout packs. Don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. I gotta hear the sound. Don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. Wow, that Fallout 3 voice acting. Um, he has a secret crush on Machete. And I have the, who's Machete? 
Fallout 3. You're not no superhero. Little Lamplight, formerly. Oh. Okay, um... He devotes much of his free time drawing posters of the mechanist and reading hubris comics. There you go. Derek often travels to the Republic of Dave. I remember that place. Da, 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 da. Notable quotes. Well, let's hear what he sounded like. Oh man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, fear me. But the mechanist was all, stop, evildoer. He drew the stuff. She found it and remade the suit. Okay. He tells you good info for that quest. Uh, he appears only in Fallout 3 behind the scenes. The drawing of the mechanist, which influenced Isobel. Is that how she's, is that how it's spelt? I thought there was an A. Uh, Alter Ego in Fallout 4 is likely connected to Derek Passion. Poster includes the initials DP in the top left corner. There we go. Five immersion breaking moments in RPGs. That looks like uh, Andromeda. Wait, no, no, no. That looks like Mass Effect 3, the uh, doctor lady. But she looked kind of weird. You should watch the trailer now. Uh. Yeah, it should be. It should be fine. It should be fine if we watch the trailer. I won't put this. I'm not going to put. I'm going to cut this from the YouTube VOD because I don't want like to get claimed or something like that. Um, Fallout 4 uh, Automatron trailer. Uh, pretty sure the mechanist appears in there. It's only a, it's only a minute. All right. I don't know how the, we're going to have to watch it. I gotta sign in to confirm my age. Oh, oh. Uh. Okay. Well, I'll just have to use my actual tab thing here then. Go ahead and uh, let me queue it up, and we can watch this real fast. Boom! 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 Um. Good thing this isn't being shown. Let's see. Uh, Fallout 4 Automatron DLC. Or not, no, not DLC trailer. I don't know if you're, it's, it's like if you're allowed to show this stuff or not. But. In, all right, how do how am I going to capture this then? Yeah, you can. It's like a reaction. All right. I mean, I'm such a I'm such a small channel. It's matter. All right. Let me see. I think I have to window capture, video capture, window capture. Trailer. What the heck? All right. Uh, where do I put this? For I guess I put it right. Here. Nope. Got to put it above the game. There we go. All right. Let's watch this chat. Go. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanist. This mechanist? Wow, look at that. You see junk. I see the golden blocks of <laughs> Mine in particular. What? Teddy bear. The final confrontation awaits. I only hope we both live to see it. Dude. Now you'll face the full light of the mechanist. 
Automatron. Wow, that trailer was hype, dude. That trailer was actually hype. There there was a part like when they were showing all this stuff off, like all the different combinations that you could do. There was like a there was like a a, a pink Mr. Handy, and then there was this freaking uh robot with a, with a teddy bear head. Wait, was that a Deathclaw skull? Look at that. That looks cool. Where do I find that? There is a like a Deathclaw skull right there. You can make your own Ahab. Well, actually, that's Ahab's uh probably his his uh helmet, actually. That's what it is, probably. Uh I like watching trailers after the fact to see how they put it together, what they reveal. You should have unlocked all robot parts by completing the DLC. I did see that, so yeah, okay. Yeah, I think we'll start doing this, man. After we do a DLC, um, we will uh, we will show this stuff off because I think this is pretty cool. That looks cool. Like, there's this um, like this part right here. This freaking tank uh, along the tracks here just comes barreling into another enemy. Like, that looks incredible. That's awesome, man. All right, let me uh. Get rid of that. There we go. Perfect. Cool, man. We're we're gonna start doing that after after the DLCs. I don't know if they if they even put trailers for the other um for the for the minor ones like the the building and uh, uh I don't know maybe that maybe even the vault one the vault building I don't know but we just watched that trailer that was cool I don't know if I'll leave that in for YouTube I mean I guess I could but. I don't know. Sentry bot legs equal permanently stuck in scenery. They put trailers for all of them. You can do the building ones. Okay. All right. Well, let me talk to you real fast. Isabel, are you tracking any more of your rogue bots? Yeah, that uh, the wiki had an O instead of an A. In game, it's an A. So. Somebody get on that. Oh, right. Let me see if I can pick up a signal. Yes, please. All right. Yes, I've picked up another one. Oh, shouldn't be too bad, I hope. iBots are not the most formidable messengers. Rogue robot. Destroy the rogue robot. Okay. Where Where is this rogue robot located at? Doom, doom, doom. Wow, why is everything always in this area? I mean, this is good because we can go back and explore this Everett Estates thing. That reminded me of Big Town from from uh, Fallout 3 for some reason. It's weird how my brain worked, man. Like, the area looks similar, but not really. I don't know. Just put two and two together, kind of. All right, so we'll, we can go and do that. Um, I want to finish looking around in here, though. The vault one has some semblance of story, so maybe not do that. Yeah, I don't. I won't do the building one until after I do the the. Um... Ooh, what is this? This is like a hidden door. I won't do the the building trailers until we finish that vault one or whatever. Because the other one is just like the factory stuff, which is already unlocked. You've already seen some of that, so it's not a big deal. Finish looking around in here, and then go make the adjustments that we need to the power armor and stuff. Mini nuke. Uh, let me not unlock this stuff. I'll come back when I don't have space. Oh, look, here. Well, but I don't have all the materials, I don't think. I'm not making this place my home here, but... We've got a lot of these robot workbenches, and, uh... we got spotlight schematics. You can now build wall-mounted spotlights. Dang, dude. Uh, but what were the what were they called? Contraptions was one, and Wasteland Workshop was the other. Yeah, I think so. Hey, let's go to the the wiki real fast. All out wiki. Uh, DLCs here. I'm gonna run down the DLCs. So Automatron was first. Uh, that came out in March. 
And then next month you have the Wasteland Workshop, which is the factory stuff. Um, Far Harbor. Ooh, Far Harbor, the next one. I actually might do the Vault one instead. So wait, there was a Wasteland Workshop, Contraptions. Uh, all new features like elevators, greenhouse kits, warehouse kits, fireworks, armor racks, scaffolding. Oh, th this is the, the factory one. So what, which one was this one then? Um, oh, this was like the cages and stuff. I see. Lighting, letter kits, taxidermy, and more. Okay, so that's where the taxidermy stuff came from. Uh, and then the vault tech workshop. Um, I guess you basically build a vault, pretty much. And then Nuka World was the last thing that they did. Okay. Yeah, I think what I'll probably do is the next DLC we'll do is Vault, vault Tech Workshop, because it's probably not going to be that long. And then we'll focus on, I guess, Far Harbor after that. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll probably do. It's nice to watch those to see what you can create, because some things you might not even think of. Yeah, when it comes to, like, building things, I, I'm not very good in, in that department. <laughs> I'm not really good with coming up with like different structures. Like, how do I want to build things? Like, I am like basic level. Like, let me just build a square pretty much. That's pretty much me. So, uh, but anyways. All right, let's go in the, through this elevator instead of that, uh, that other one that's back out there. This. Going down. So um, I'll, I'll probably definitely uh Control center. look at that. Maybe try and get some ideas. Because I do want to move away from Going down. the um, sanctuary hills, but I mean, Security screening room three. I don't know. I don't know how uh, the building is going to be inside the castle because like the castle already has like rooms. I don't know if like building in the courtyard is uh, gonna look good or anything. Did you look at all this stuff? Yes, I, I did. Uh, I think I got everything in here. There was like a at least a hollow tape or two that I had missed in some of the rooms, but it's fine. It's not really that big of a deal. Build a square with no doors. Watch the sim die. What? All right. Mechanic jumpsuit. All right, so we can just, uh, I mean, I could just walk out of here or I could just um, fast travel, but we'll just go ahead and walk out of here. I think there was a door. Yeah, there's a door right here. Let me unlock this. We can come in the back way too. Tell me you have played The Sims. I have. But I've, I've never done that in The Sims. It's been a long time since I played The Sims. I played it when I was like a teenager. Uh, who crafted it from actual destroy robots. The robot armor is heavier and offers more protection than standard metal armor. <laughs> Be because now, like, I can show off the browser. Like, um... I just want to start looking up all sorts of stuff on there now, while on stream. Why would anyone play The Sims if not build a dream house and then kill people inside? I never even thought of that. I just played, just played it uh, like trying to have an actual life. What was The Sims on uh, PS2? What was that game? Cause that's the one that I played. The Sims. Uh, that was the original one. The Sims 2. I remember playing The Sims and The Sims busting out. Those are, the, those are the Sims that I played. I did not play uh, whatever this one is. So yeah. <laughs> hey, where's Ada at? There she is. All right, cool. Let's go back to uh, Sanctuary Hills and drop all the stuff off. And then on the way back over here to, to grab stuff, we'll go ahead and uh, do that. Do 
Go back there, drop off some of the robot stuff that we got. Also, I recommend switching Ada off now. I hope I don't kill her, but yeah. They literally recorded zero lines for her out of DLC. Um, at least not ones that I know of. I mean, switching off, like Chain of Companion, Monka S. <laughs> yeah, no. I read, I took that as a, uh, yeah, flip the switch so she blows up. That's what I took it as. Do I have my robot stuff in here? I, ne I never made the thing. Let me go ahead and make that real fast. I need to make a container. Whoops. We'll be right back after this short break. Freaking hotkeys, man. All right, I need to um, make a container. Because I did this, but then when we reloaded and to get the silver shroud stuff, I, I never... Uh, uh, I didn't save when we made it, so we have to do it again. I'm bad with the wording. It's good, man. It actually was uh, funnier that way.